This is Piper from Piper's Dragon Tarot. This is your monthly read for October. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification button so that you know when I'm posting videos and when your video hits the internet. Um, also, don't forget to check out the new link below to The Unexpected, which is a, an extended read. It's what you don't see coming this month, and it's what's not included in this reading. So that link takes you to Vimeo. It's an on-demand page. The um, video rental is $1.99. Give you a heads up on any surprises coming. So... Again, thank you for checking that out. So I was thinking about you guys while I was shuffling and I'm getting, <laughs> this thing, Sagittarius this month knows when to hold them and knows when to fold them. So there's some sort of, you guys are feeling in control or you know that you, you're, it's like you're trusting yourself to, oh my God, I'm reciting lyrics from songs. I, I, I'm getting Kenny Loggins here. <laughs> um, or, Kenny Loggins. Who is that? It's about you're not worried. You're you're feeling in control. I feel like you guys are confident that if things don't go well, you will know when to walk away. That's what I'm getting here for you guys for Sagittarius in the month of October. All right. Yeah, I'm getting like aha moments and oh wells, like things are no big deal. <laughs> um, it's very lighthearted energy. We'll see how the reading goes. All right, so this is going to be Love, Money, Career for Sag in October. Three cards. We'll clarify <laughs> with a uh, oracle card from the Gypsy Tarot deck. And uh, we'll also use um, Soul's Journey Oracle cards for advice. We'll also pull one card from the Wisdom of the Golden Path for general um, energy for the month. Okay, love, money, career, please, for Sag, Spirit. Love, money, career, for Sagittarius. Love, money, career, for Sagittarius, please. Love, money, career, for Sagittarius. Love, money, career, for Sagittarius, please. Okay. Here we go. Love, Sag. Wow. Okay. Bang. <laughs> Happy. Ten of Cups. All right. Somebody else had a really great reading in love for this month, and I think it was Cancer. Uh, <clears throat> money, seven of pentacles in the reverse. Okay. And career, four of wands in the reverse. All right. Uh, at the bottom of the deck, we have the five of cups and it's in the reverse. So there's a feeling of coming out of sadness or, or letting go of regrets, coming out of a situation in which you were grieving, um, Yeah, again, I'm getting that general feeling of knowing what it's all about in the end. And, and what the purpose of grief is for. They're saying that the Five of Cups here is about <clears throat> leaving your regrets in the past and going forward. It's like knowing what it's all about in the end. It, it's about, they keep saying soul's growth. So lessons learned, you know um, that the power of creativity is at your fingertips and your, your path lies in your discretion. So... Um, I feel like you think it's pointless to be sad or grieving about a situation. 
So love, 10 of cups, baby, wow. Uh, that's happiness and fulfillment, happy home, happy family. If you're hitched, this is a happy couple here. Um, if you're not hitched, you're getting hitched or you're, you're coming into happiness. Um, for, <laughs> if some of you, it, Oh, all right. For those of you that are single, there may be a new relationship here on the roulette, but it doesn't seem new. I feel like you've coming again, coming into awareness about a certain situation. Um, they're saying which, which belies its nature. Good Lord. I'm not even sure what that means. Um, <clears throat> so you don't know how it's going to go, but you're happy about it. Um, there may be some, there was like, I'm hearing acceptance. There may be, uh, or maybe was an acceptance of a situation as it is. <clears throat> it's like happiness achieved here in love. It's like everybody's feelings have been laid out on the line. Everybody accepts the challenge. Some of you had, have accepted the situation as it is and it's kind of like a, why not go with it? <laughs> You're like, I can't change it, so why not just go with it? Have some fun, be happy. Um, Some of you, for some of you, this is somebody popping the question or, or, or a question gets asked here. I just heard the word pop, so. <clears throat> you know, I, I also get the feeling that there's no way to tell how this is gonna go in the future. Um, You know, also for some of you, this is about, there. there's something destined here. It's like connection and not worrying about the consequences or not, <clears throat> it's about being happy regardless. There may be ups, there may be downs, there may be consequences, there may be good sides, there may be bad sides. I'm getting that you're, it's about being happy regardless. It's about acceptance here with the Ten of Cups. So some of you have accepted a relationship into your life. For some of you, it has no substance, just so you know. Um, but you don't care. I don't think you care. I think you're joyous in their company is what I'm getting. Please clarify the Ten of Cups. Constancy. So some of you are there when someone needs you. It's about being consistent. Stability. I think I feel like someone's trying to create something here, trying to create some constancy or cr create stability or create a permanent bond here. Um, this is about two people, Sag. So this could be the person that you're connecting with. Um, someone here is trying to be a more benevolent figure, a more cooperative figure in your life or you in their life. Bottom of the deck is gift. Um, I 
again, I, I just, I keep hearing this. Uh, gift is about like, it's, a, there's some big surprise here. For some of you, it's a wedding ring, but, um, or some sort of gift that brings you luck and hope for the future. Um, <clears throat> I feel like, I feel like there's someone here who's standing by someone's side through thick and thin, regardless of what happens for you guys. <clears throat> All right, Sag, here we go. Advice for Sagittarius in love. We've got discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to and judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique paths and challenges. This is about remaining a constant in someone's life despite whatever course it takes. I'm getting accepted responsibility, sole responsibility for someone, accepting outcomes that may not be forthcoming, forthcoming excuse me, accepting There's some sort of, wow, yeah, so you need to discipline yourself. There's something you need to prep yourself for. It's about setting your mind to something. Is there some sort of judgment or assessment? It's about prepping yourself. There's a reason here why this person is being cooperative or why you're being cooperative. <clears throat> Someone is making some sobering adjustments in their life here and they need to discipline themselves against judgment. There's a judgment coming or an assessment coming and they need to handle themselves properly. And I'm getting Sag that you are part of this process or have your, or have devoted yourself to, to be part of this process. They're saying, um, Sag, you need to remain balanced and give support when needed. Don't come off your path. Don't sacrifice yourself, but do what you can. I don't know what this is all about. This is interesting. We'll find out in the extended version, in the uh, unexpected. All right, here we go, money. You got the seven of pentacles, it's in the, it's in the reverse. So, <clears throat> the seven of pentacles is about something not working out. Um, something's not paying off or something doesn't. You may, you may give something up uh, because you don't think it's working out monetarily. <clears throat> I get the feeling you're backing out of something, actually. You, you may think that something is becoming um, not financially feasible. Um, and so you may not be waiting around for something to grow or for something to manifest monetarily here, financially.
keep hearing something about hair. I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, it's about resisting the urge. There's a, a, a need to resist the urge to invest in something that is no longer growing. Again, I just heard hair again. Um, set. For some of you, this is about your hair. Um, <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> They're saying, yeah. <laughs> This is something that doesn't grow. Sag, this is about possibly, I mean, stop investing money in hair growth products because if your hair isn't going to grow anymore, or for some of you, your hair is falling out. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Um, if some of you are losing your hair, you're being instructed to go with that. Just saying. Um... I'm trying to get off that uh, line of thought here. So in general, something's not paying off. Something you may have invested in or put a lot of money into, <laughs> it's not paying off here. Um, for some of you, this is just about gray hair. You can, you can stop coloring it now. Um, for some of you, this is about um, getting older and your hair is changing color or some of you, your hair is falling out and you don't want to invest any more money in it because you don't feel it's necessary or you don't feel like it really pays off. So why do it? Um, some of you think white hair is cool. And so you're no longer going to pay for um, a colorist. Please clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Consolation in the reverse. Yeah, it's about <laughs> it's about not having a money enough money to pay for this sort of thing anyway. Um, it's a thing of the past. Yeah, they're saying no more big money hair spending bills, you know. Um, wow. Bottom of the deck is faux. Someone may be trying to convince you that this is a good idea, but it's not. Just trust yourself. Um, I'm getting... So the foe card is about you're not sure if someone's your friend or not, or if they can be a foe. Um, this is about also to, you know, are people really your friends? I mean, who's good for you and who's not? Um, And I'm getting, ooh, yeah, I'm getting lie to you about your appearance. So, you know, I feel like this is possibly your hairstylist. <laughs> uh, so pay attention to that. Don't give money to people that are full of it or telling you to do things that you don't feel are in line with you any longer. Um, because I'm getting the, that you're no longer afraid of the aging process, Sag, if this is you. Um, or it, for those of you that aren't, middle-aged, <laughs> um, there's no longer any need to finance things that cost too much as far as your appearance. Um, let's see what your advice is in money. Money for Sag, October, Sagittarius, please. Advice. Wow, I just went through the whole deck. Guilt card landed in the reverse. Uh, I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. <clears throat> so there's no longer, don't feel guilty. So this person may make you feel guilty or wonder why you haven't been back to access their services. Um, but it's about doing what's best for you, Sagittarius. 
Wow, that just flew out of there. Change. <laughs> I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Um, it's about being better off in the future when you let this these things go. Change brings movement. Don't let guilt hold you back. It's entirely possible that this person's just using you for money, so... You know. You may get a message, actually, from someone who likes your hair and wonders who is cutting it. And that might be what this is all about. Bottom of the deck was surrender, by the way. Whatever situation is going to blow over once you make your decision, just so you know. All right. <clears throat> Saggy's career. Four of Wands in the reverse. So the Four of Wands is about a delay, I feel like. some For some of you, Sagittarius, there's something that you have manifested into your, into your career world or it's like you're seeing processes and, and things change coming about in your favor. Um, but there's a certain lack of commitment and delays continue to be a problem. With the, with the four of wands in the reverse. Um, sorry, that noise is my neighbor's outside and I have all the windows open. Um, well, they're just gonna slam that door over and over again. Okay. Um, So th <laughs> they're saying you got to let this slide. This is a situation where you just need to focus on yourself. Let this slide. There's nothing you can do about it here. Um, <clears throat> Again, it's delays in programs that may enable you to move forward, delays in, I'm hearing something about management here. I'm getting that there needs to be some like conformity to the norm right now. Sag just need it's like biding your time, dealing with a delay, um, being cooperative, because there's a lack of stability and delay. Um, make sure, by the way, Sag, that it's not this aforementioned relationship that holds you back. And when I say aforementioned relationship, it could very well be your money or your love situation holding you back here. Just make sure that that doesn't affect, that isn't the delay here. Um, this is about waiting. I'm, I'm getting, there's a plan here to go forward, but there's a, like a team, somebody needs to be ousted or a current situation needs to be let go. But until then in your career, I feel like there's a plan. Somebody wants to go forward with you and something, but they can't do it right now. You got to wait until, um, this issue gets solved. People need to move on or get kicked out or be fired or let go. And, and uh, it's a threat to the stability of the whole situation. So there needs to be some <coughs> cooperation until such a time when this can move forward. Please clarify that for, wow. So you got the haughtiness card, H-A-U-G-H-T.
So I know what this card seems like, but what they're saying to me is someone gets realized for what they really are here. And, and when I say that, it's about being recognized that you are worth way more than you're being given with this card. It's about realizing your worth in a situation, whether it be you realizing your worth or someone else realizing your worth. Some of you may be, the plan is to elevate you in a situation because they feel like you're worth it or you're more capable or you have what it takes here. You may need to elevate yourself among your peers to get noticed, Sag, just so you know. <clears throat> it's about, I mean, I keep hearing coming out on top and cream of the crop and that sort of thing. So, um, it's about making notable changes in your life that lead to progress at work. Bottom of the deck is hope. You have it. <laughs> All right. Let's look at some advice for your career. Wahoo, two cards right off the bat. Okay, so patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. And you got failure. By the way, it came out in the reverse. I don't really know how to read that, but I'm gonna do it. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So, Sag, this is about, they're telling you to be patient while the higher-ups figure out where the hell they went wrong because they know they did. So this is about mismanagement. You need to be patient until it's your turn, and it will be your turn. And they're saying, wait for the world card. That was interesting. Make a note of that. So... There will be a world card here eventually. <laughs> um, so bide your time, Sag. Bottom of the deck is health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. <clears throat> While you're waiting, put some effort into your physical body and your emotional body. Take care of yourself so that you're in like tip top form when the time comes. Wow. Okay. Let's pick one card from the Wisdom of the Golden Path. This was like your, the general feeling and advice for the rest of the month. This is what gives you like purposeful meaning. So Sag Sagittarius, I'm sorry about my coughing. I can't quite ditch this cough. <coughs> Ragweed season almost over. All right, so. Sagittarius for October, please. One card, Sagis for October. Wow, okay. I love this card and I see it so infrequently. You got love. Look at that, isn't it beautiful? Okay, let's read from the book. I'm just going to relay this message because I just got it. So Spirit is saying, and I don't know the meaning of this card. I have to read it. But they said, this is about putting yourself out there. It's about not caring what other people think any longer about a certain situation in love. It's about It's, they're saying fearless flying. You're fearlessly flying here through uh, it's like wow. You don't care what people think any longer. You don't care what the norm is. You don't care. You're tired of people who who look at what the acceptable reasons for love are or it's like 
You're tired of people who... have certain rules or what it's about what's normal in love or what's accepted and you're tired of that. You're simply not afraid any longer of what people think about you. Let me read. You just don't care. It's not like not caring about others' judgment or what other people think. I can't wait to read this. <clears throat> All right, here we go. There's um, a quote here before the reading, and it's by, I'm going to say this name, and I hope I say it right. It's by Lao Tzu. And it says, music in the soul can be heard by the universe. All right, here we go. An angel surrounds you with her wings of light. She is here to remind you that there is more to life than your achievements, your degrees, and your possessions. She would like to help reconnect you with your true nature and rediscover a healthier, more sensitive, and loving you. Your soul is full of infinite light, beauty, and creative energy. Through being aware of your spiritual nature, you connect to your true and infinite nature and experience a greater sense of fulfillment and purpose. Connecting with your true essence is a profound and sacred experience. You may feel overwhelmed by joy at times. Let every feeling surface and express all you feel in some way. Though the process of reconnecting and rediscovering the real you, life all around you transforms in a most positive way. This is about reconnecting with your true nature. <clears throat> Spirit just said acceptance of a field of dreams. All right, I'm going to stop it there. So don't forget to click on the link below and for your extended reading, The Unexpected for the month of October. I will post that momentarily. There's a little lag time between this posting and the posting of the link below. So give, give it a bit before you um, see it. And uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and make a comment. Thanks again, Sag. See you next month.